Hi guys and welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Today I want to talk about a pretty classic iconic movie in in the world of cinema and that's The Usual Suspects. Now this movie is 23 years old um, and I just finally got around to actually checking it out. So I want to talk about it um, a little bit. Um, if you don't know the story, it's really, it follows this one person uh, named Verbal, played by Kevin Spacey, who is, he's kind of recounting um, the exploits and adventures of this heist crew that he was um, a part of. So he's kind of sitting in a police office, um, talking with his detective, recounting what his crew has done over the past couple weeks, things like that. And this movie also stars um, Kevin Pollock, Gabriel Byrne, a very young Benicio Del Toro, um, a couple others in there. Um, and so overall, I would say that I really enjoyed this movie. I can see why it has the iconic status that it does. Um, you know, I, I enjoy heist movies, um, so I was you know, kind of predisposed to like this one. Um, so I, I, I definitely enjoyed it, but where this movie kind of falls down for me is that um, it is 23 years old. It does have that iconic status. I'm finally getting around... Um, to watching it and so I already knew a lot about this movie going into it and this is definitely one of those movies where um, if you don't know a lot going into it um, you're better off for it so I'm gonna start get to get into some spoilers here so if you haven't seen The Usual Suspects and you're watching this uh, review probably turn it off um, but if you have seen it like most cinephiles have um, you know that again spoilers the the big twist in the end is that this big bad mythical gangster that everyone talks about Kaiser Sose is in fact the character played by Kevin Spacey and you know there's the the iconic line the greatest trick the devil ever, devil ever played was convincing, convincing the world that he didn't exist which is just indicative of the character that he plays in this movie so going into the film I knew that that's what the twist was um, so I was kind of looking for it I could see it unraveling throughout the movie so on a first time viewing, knowing a big twist like that, it can kind of take a lot of the teeth out of a really good movie. Um, but I will say again that I overall in, enjoyed this film and I can see why it has the iconic status that it has and why it would have blown minds um, when it came out and people didn't know the twist, um, things like that. Also um, talking about the performances in this movie, um, I really enjoyed Kevin Spacey. Um, I also really enjoyed young Benicio Del Toro. Uh, even though he was a little hard to understand at times, his accent was pretty thick, and I think it was kind of an affectation to, to fit his character. Um, I always watch TV with the captions on because I'm hard of hearing. Not because I'm actually deaf, I just listen to music too loud, and I like to actually read my movies so I can catch extra things and, and read and you know catch every single thing. Um, so overall, I, I really enjoyed this. Um, um, overall, I will say that I do have some complaints about this film. I think near the beginning, I was a little lost on kind of what was happening. This movie just kind of starts and characters start doing things, and you don't really have a good idea of what's going on. There's a little confusion there, and I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Um, I will also say that what has been going on recently with both Kevin Spacey and uh, Brian Singer, who directed this, with both of their respective um, scandals in Hollywood to put a bit of a black mark on this movie um, going uh, this far back, especially Kevin Spacey, because he is kind of the face of this movie. You can kind of forget that Brian Singer is a part of it since he just directed it and he's behind the camera. You don't ever see him on it. But I will say that both of those um, scandals in Hollywood do put a bit of a a black mark uh, on this film um, but overall um, I really I really enjoyed it also one other thing uh, Giancarlo Esposito is in this film um, I saw his name in the opening credits and then when his character showed up on screen I was like he looks really familiar I have, feel like I know this person and then I saw his name again in the end credits and I was like oh yeah that was him. If you don't know who Giancarlo Esposito is, he plays Gus Fring on both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. He's a fantastic actor. He was just almost unrecognizable from his role tw from 23 years ago versus playing Gus Fring uh, right now. Cool little little nugget in there. Um, but like I said, overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, knowing the twist kind of took something out of it for me, um, but I'm glad I finally got around to checking out this classic, iconic film. Um, so 
What if you what do you think about uh, the usual suspects? Have you seen it? Hopefully you've seen it or else I just spoiled it for you. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if this is your first time here at the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. It would mean a lot to me. And until next time, we'll see you at the cinema.